Namaste Aries. Welcome to my channel Lush Homo Magical. If you are new, special welcome to you. I hope you won't be new until my next upload. Make sure to like, share and subscribe if you like my energy, of course. Anyway, make yourself comfortable and enjoy the show. If you are my lovely person and subscriber coming back, thank you very, very much for your time, appreciation and your support. I really do appreciate that. This is going to be, yeah, you yourself, make yourself comfortable and enjoy the show as well. <laughs> this is going to be a general reading for the sign of Aries, placements of Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And since it is a general reading, I have to mention it may not resonate with every single one of you watching. So please keep that in mind. Take what's yours and leave the rest for somebody else. This is your February general reading, even though the time is fluid and we all experience time differently, whenever you watch this video, the messages may resonate with you. Let's start. Let's start with messages for Aries, my Aries souls out there. What do you need to hear? What do you need to know? Let's, let's dive into your reading and see what is it about. There was the judgment. Major Arcana. There is a need for balance. Maybe you wish for some balance. <clears throat> but yeah. Let's not talk that much yet. <laughs> What is your February about? Wow. Okay. There it is. Bottom of the deck, we have three of wands. Fire energy. You are willing to make a move, but you're not quite sure. Whatever it may be for you, Aries. Some of you may be dealing with a Taurus. Some of you maybe have some Taurus in your chart. You should check your nail chart definitely for more information when it comes to that. Let's start with your reading, Aries. You have a major kind of justice under the number of 11. You start off your reading with the major arcana and I can tell you straight away that is going to be a big reading. This is going to be an important reading for you, Aries, okay? I feel like February is, is a very important month for you, for you yourself, not your connections with other people, you yourself and your growth and your um, involvement, involvement, involvement. Yeah, growth. Let's just stick to the growth. Justice. Yeah. You want balance. You want balance. That is very similar when not the same message with the judgment. Even though the judgment call has more to do with karma, which can also be a case for a lot of you, you are wishing... You're wishing for justice. You're wishing for karma to be served. You're wishing for fairness. Um, and I really feel that it got to do with you yourself. And your situation. Whatever it may be for you, right? We'll see about that when we clarify. Interestingly enough, the second message for you, Aries, is a second major arcana, and that is the tower under the number of 16. So it may be some tower moment happening in your life around 16 February, uh, just right after the Valentine's Day. Uh, it may be something that you find out, something that will shock you, 
whether negatively or positively uh, you are alive and healthy to see it to experience it so uh, let me know in the comments when it happens how it was because um, I cannot really tell um, if it's going to be negatively or, or positively you will know best once it happens but uh, it's definitely going to be out of a nowhere out of a sudden uh, suddenly happening it will quite shock you uh, it may got to do with the person you are dealing with uh, as well as this justice may got to do with the person you're dealing with your situation you are finding yourself next message for you is the knight of wands this is your energy fire energy as well as of sagittarius and leo your fire companions um, I feel like it may be possible that you have met somebody new or you yourself, you want something new. You want a new start with somebody else who is not your past person. And maybe that got to do with this tower moment. Maybe, uh, I feel like you already know that you do not want much to do with your past person. That's why you actually wish for fairness, for justice, for uh, karma uh, to be served and uh, equality and fairness. Um, I feel like what I'm picking up in Switzerland, you want, you want to hold your worth and your value back. You want to stand in your power. Uh, probably that's why you have the Knight of Wands standing here right after the tower being a third message of yours for this February reading and that is talking about um, yeah new directions new pages new doors new creations uh, you are very passionate about somebody or something i feel like it is somebody new uh, that you recently met maybe with the start of 2022 um you're being also uh if if it's not a person yet maybe it will be but i'm feeling like you are very passionate um about that beginning about that new start and leaving the past behind, closing that door. We move next to the Hermit, which is also major Kana under the number of nine. Maybe this new person of yours is Taurus, an earth sign. Uh, and the next message for you is also a number of nine, which is a nine of swords. And I feel like you are closing a cycle. That's why you wish you wish for justice. You wish to experience the balance, the harmony, the fairness, validation for yourself. And that's why you want to create something new to experience. Maybe you were manifesting a new star. That's why the universe is stepping in with the tower. I will see more when I clarify, of course. I will recommend that you stick until the end of the reading because um, you may never know which part of the reading actually does resonate with your story and can benefit you with the information I give you. Okay, that is important to know. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for sticking around. Okay, yeah, I feel like a lot of you are in that hermit mode. I feel like you are healing yourself from your past because your past was like, <gasps> you lost air. You lost air with that energy of Nine of Swords. It was like you were having it enough. You were not able to sleep. You may be 
uh, were dreaming about this person, uh, you were having nightmares, you were you were caught up in your thoughts, you were caught up in your head, you were you felt like you're losing your mind with the nine of swords, so you can't take it anymore. So naturally for you, for this justice and balance to happen, there is a need for hermit mode. So some of you are already in the hermit mode. Uh, for others of you, yeah, there, there is no others of you. I feel like a lot of you are in the hermit mode because of this energy of the Nine of Swords. Let's jump into the clarification, clarification for you, Aries. Healing process. And it's like you're closing a cycle. It can very possible be that it is a karmic one. Karmic cycle that your past person was a karmic person. We have laziness, jumping up, popping up, being like, mm, maybe that's how you're feeling. That's how you're doing in this hermit mode. Which talks about, you know, stagnation which can be similar to feeling lazy and not doing much, uh, not, not feeling quite motivated. But you, you are going through a lot in the month of February. And I feel like by the end of February, the cycle is going to be closed for you. It's like there is a call for you to release your past and let this person go. And I feel like you actually do wish to do that because in the middle of your reading, you have the Knight of Wands, which is totally your energy. And it's totally passionate. And it's like open for new. It's, it's you know, the Knights are always supported by a horse. Why? Because the Knight can always, anytime, jump on a horse and be like, I'm, I'm up into my new adventure. See you next time. Like... I got no time to lose. I'm on my way to become a king, so I got I got to fulfill my ride and keep on keep on riding. Anyway, let's um let's clarify. Let's clarify. Justice. Two messages for clarifications as always. If you wish a personal reading with me, I am available to do some. You will have all informations you need to know in the description box. So feel free to contact me. Also feel free to comment. I'm always glad and always happy when I see comments um, from people about the reading, about how they feel of what I'm doing here and, you know, sharing this with you guys. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, when I came to the clarification of the justice, uh, we have exhaustion. So I really feel that is, that is, um, uh, that is very similar energy as the nine of swords. You know, it's like a confirmation that, um, you were finding yourself in this energy for some period of time. I feel like this past person of yours was, uh, yeah, as comics like to be, they, they just come and go, come and go, come and go. They're never quite sure. Uh, and also the universe always, like, puts you apart, then you come back together, then puts you apart, then you come back together. And that can quite take into the energy of, you know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm having no energy to take this anymore. It's like, it's, it's up till here it's enough anyway justice is clarify with being alone and rebel some of you may be dealing with an air sign probably aquarius it doesn't have to be let's not remain fixed on signs it's all about energy you know as I like to say. So. It can be that a lot of you were spending time alone and, and being alone. Uh, because you just didn't know what to do. You just know you, you wish for a balance. And you wish for karma to be served. And. 
to feel harmonious again and in your in your power and your strength and i feel like uh which also uh gets along with the hermit mode right and that healing process because in in that period of time we actually do need to spend some time alone with ourselves uh and i feel like you did the work when it comes to that uh if this already have happened for you Aries and you in that time of being alone and um spending time by yourself um you questioned a lot when it comes to how fair are you and what is your karma because rebel is aquarian energy um which does not follow the rules this is somebody who is very intelligent and very wise and uh, uh, knows its value knows its worth and uh, it feels quite easy for them to to for the rebel to break the rules they do not play by, by the rules uh stubborn energy as well which you Aries share with the sign of aquarius um for others of you i'm getting the storyline for you to experience the balance to have a justice you want you need to spend some time alone if you are not doing this this is a call for you to do so in order to get what you want there is a need to you to spend some time alone so you can actually see how fair are you how just is are you where is your karma and you will know where your karma is how look where you are Let's clarify the tower. Let's see two messages for the tower. <clears throat> now here it is. New vision at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like a lot of you who are actually able to do this to spend some time by yourself, be alone and you know, uh go through your way of thinking and go through uh the way you participate, the way you perceive your vision and your perspective, um uh, it will actually guide you to having a new vision to have uh opening of your minds the tower is clarified with interestingly enough harmony and patience and this patience again goes greatly along with the harmony mode because harmony mode is all about that being in that stagnant mood being in stagnation having patience for cycle to close for new door to open and to enter a new world of creation and that's that that's the new world of your creation universe is stepping in with the tower which will definitely bring the same message of justice harmony and balance you deserve and you wish for aries and it will require you to be patient to have patience for the new start because that is our next message for you the knight of wands your energy you will need to be patient probably until the hermit mode is uh done you know we have intensity flipped
I feel like you're not quite yourself. And this may be a good thing. Because you are you you need to go through uh hermit modes. You need to spend some time for yourself. To question yourself a little bit. Be patient for a new start. And I'm saying this intensity is maybe a good thing, which is not happening this time around for you as you are maybe used to uh, because that is a sign of you changing and you evolving evolving right i believe that's the word let's look at night of wands Let's look at the Knight of Wands. Yeah. Pressure at the bottom of the deck. We have clarification of seeing the brighter day seeing the brighter picture, seeing clearer, seeing the bigger picture as well, and success. Once you step into the energy of the Knight of Wands, you will be able to see a new vision, which was at the bottom of the deck a couple of minutes ago. I believe I have showed you. Um, you will be able to hmm. you will be able to see clearer and to get a bigger picture, more brighter picture. You will be more motivated and more uh, I feel like you will enter your power definitely because it is your energy once again, the nine of wands. You will be entering your power and it will feel like, yeah, I got my colors back. I can see clearly now. I'm back to myself. And I, I, I really believe that we people used to, uh, we tend sometimes or are brought to losing ourselves only to find ourselves back again. And that is a circle of living and circle of life, which is actually beautiful because it is a whole cycle and circle of great experience. When not great experience, then important experience, which will bring us to uh, totally new ourselves and totally new creation, which is actually really beautiful. You know, that is... The same way when you uh, create colorful, bright new world from destruction and all that grayness in the background. It's like it is destructive, but you are able to see and to believe that this is possible. And it is. And it's going to be successful. Because I feel like in that manner, in that way, you will you will have your harmony. You will have your balance, you know. Okay, yeah. Let's see, Hermit. I don't feel like I need to say that uh, once you realize that you can be playful again, um, you will you will know that your healing process is almost at the end. It's almost done, uh, especially with these last two messages, you know, as I was showing you nine, the hermit, then nine of swords. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Okay, the hermit. 
we have discipline. We have discipline with the hermit at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, it will bring you to gain discipline. It is a lesson you need to learn, Aries, is what I'm feeling here. With the hermit, with that healing process and signation mode. Uh, anyway, clarify with possibilities and celebration. Yeah, I feel like there is, there is, there is going to be uh, a big celebration, whether it is official or just for you yourself, but you will feel very lucky and willing to share, willing to give, being open. Uh, you will learn a lesson about discipline and how important discipline actually is. And that is exactly why I was telling you maybe that intensity that you were used to be and used to act and used to do uh, in that type of way intensively. Uh, it's actually a good thing that... Uh, you will recognize and see changes happening because I'm, I'm, I'm realizing what is actually important and what will bring me um, along. Definitely a reason to celebrate possibilities. Yeah, possibilities are opening. Possibilities will then be open for you, Aries. And you will see it through, you know. You will see bright and clear and beautiful and open. Uh, this may also have to do with this new connection, new person you will have to meet. I forgot to say that. Now I'm coming back. Um, that new person, if already have not entered your life, um, I feel like definitely somebody will. Uh, it's like... Uh, this person is going to show you also possibilities um, for you to to help you and guide you in a way to support you as well uh, to get the harmony and and uh, see the brighter picture see more colorful see that it's not all white and black it's not all gray a lot of colors are included as well and I feel like this connection is going to be successful with this new person, Aries. Times to celebrate. Let's look at the Nine of Swords. This new person may be uh, other religion than you are, other um, nationality than you are, possible for some of you. Seeing beyond the illusion, yes, you will, you will. By the end of February, start of March, middle March, you will see. Nine of Swords is clarified with sharing and being a part of and politics and this was the first message that wanted to pop out for your reading aries i believe yeah this is this is exactly that type of story that uh you know your mind is playing you your mind get caught up you get caught up, you got caught up into your mind because of all this thoughts and um, uh, principles, morals, you have like also masks, roles you play, roles others, how others play you. I feel like this is, you're sick and tired of it. You want something new, somebody new with whom you can share. With whom you are able to share. With whom you feel free to share. Where you don't need to wear a mask. 
and pretend you are somebody that you are not. Yeah. Let's look at the Romantic Angels messages for the month of February for you, Aries. I was feeling like taking two. Okay, some of you... Like for real, this new person may be a Taurus. I got to mention that. I know what I'm saying it. Close me. Okay. Love yourself first is your first message from Romantic Angels. Taking care of yourself and having your value, it's making you more attractive for new love, for attracting new love. That is a big important reminder for you Aries love yourself first that's why the hermit mode is here that's why the healing process so you can learn back again to take your power see your value make your value uh, come back to yourself who you are who you want to be the new you you want to create and love yourself first the second message is attraction you attract romantic love if you're able to enjoy this moment in fully so be present be present let the past go let go whatever doesn't serve you anymore the energies that do not belong do not match you because in that way especially with loving yourself first uh, you will be able to attract new love and there is a big possibility to, for attraction. It's a very similar uh, message. We're not even the same because it is about attraction. And it is about how you need to be in the present moment, to live in the present moment, to let go of what you need to let go, what does not serve you anymore, what's not meant for you. Just release that. Before we close your reading, my lovely Aries, let's look at the love universe messages. Please make sure to like, share and subscribe if you already have not. It will help me grow, it will help the channel grow, it will help you grow, we will get to hang out more. And I will love that. I believe that you will love that too. Let's see three messages for you, Aries. Okay. That you have options is meaningful. <laughs> Rock on. Rock on. Rock on. That you have options is meaningful. Rock on. Yeah, Aries. Time for a love fest. <laughs> yeah. Time for a love fest. I feel like this 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 one got to do with <clears throat> Yeah, and you had a celebration as a clarification message in your reading with possibility. So come on, that's like time for a love fest. We know, we know how charming you can be and that you have options. So rock on. Honor yourself. This is, um, this is going along with romantic angels reminding you, you need to love yourself first because being in a present and loving yourself first, you will get the as exact attraction of a person who is exactly uh, perfect match for you Aries I would like to see some comments about this reading to be honest I'm curious how this resonates with you guys thank you very much for watching thank you for appreciating and 
giving me likes, shares, subscribes and supports. I'm, I'm really thankful for that and grateful for that. Um, this was February. I will catch you up next time.